Hello everyone and welcome to Know Your Drug, powered by Medi Insights. The ultimate destination for all things of health and wellness from the fascinating world of medicals and pharmaceuticals. We are here to guide you on pregabalin capsules, exploring the various aspects of pregabalin, their usage, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and most importantly, essential advice for taking them safely and responsibly. Before we begin, let me emphasize that the content provided in this channel is purely educational. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice regarding medications. Now, let's get started. Use of pregabalin capsules. Pregabalin capsules are primarily prescribed for the management of neuropathic pain associated with diabetic peripheral neuropathy, postherpetic neuralgia, and spinal cord injury. Additionally, they are used as an adjunctive therapy for partial onset seizures in adults and for the treatment of fibromyalgia. Next, dosage of pregabalin capsules. The initial dosage of pregabalin typically starts at 150 mg per day, divided into two or three doses. Based on individual patient response and tolerance, the dose can be increased to a maximum of 600 mg per day. For neuropathic pain and fibromyalgia, doses usually range between 300 to 450 mg per day, while for epilepsy, the dose may be adjusted to a maximum of 600 mg per day. Next, Mechanism of Action of Pregabalin Capsules Pregabalin binds to the alpha-2 delta subunit of voltage-gated calcium channels in the central nervous system. This binding reduces the release of several neurotransmitters, including glutamate, norepinephrine, and substance P, which are involved in pain transmission and seizure activity. By modulating these neurotransmitters, pregabalin helps alleviate pain and control seizures. Next, side effects of pregabalin capsules. Common side effects include dizziness, somnolence, dry mouth, edema, blurred vision, weight gain, and difficulty concentrating. Less common but more severe side effects can include allergic reactions, muscle pain, and respiratory depression. Patients should be monitored for signs of depression and suicidal thoughts. Next, important advice for using pregabalin capsules. Do not discontinue abruptly as stopping pregabalin suddenly can cause withdrawal symptoms. It should be tapered off under medical supervision. Regular checkups are necessary to monitor for any adverse reactions, especially in patients with renal impairment or those taking other central nervous system depressants. Alcohol can increase the sedative effects of pregabalin, leading to increased risk of dizziness and drowsiness. Any new or worsening symptoms, particularly mood changes or suicidal thoughts, should be reported to a healthcare provider immediately. Due to its potential to cause dizziness and drowsiness, patients should avoid driving or operating heavy machinery until they understand how pregabalin affects them. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the use, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and important advice for using pregabalin capsules. Remember, knowledge is power, and being well-informed empowers you to make the best decisions for your health.